Hello, hello. Today we're going to be talking about abscess treatment for guinea pigs. Abscesses do happen and knowing those treatment options can soothe your worries. Abscesses are one of the injuries that should be seen by a vet and improper treatment of abscesses may result in a very sick guinea pig or death, which no one wants. So let's first define what is an abscess. Abscesses are swollen pockets containing pus that can appear on any part of the body. They're not specific to guinea pigs as any critter can eat them, including you. Generally, abscesses result from a bacterial infection that the body tried to wall off from the rest. However, fungi and parasites are also potential causes. There are two types of abscesses, skin and internal. You'll be most likely to notice a skin abscess on your guinea pig and think it needs treatment because, well, you can see it. The interior variety forms between organs and is much more challenging to spot. Abscesses are dangerous. If the abscess ruptures, the pus can spread rapidly. The bacterial infection that started it all right along with it can spread too. This can lead to sepsis in most cases, which can be fatal without treatment. Let's talk about how your guinea pig gets abscesses. Unfortunately, guinea pigs can get abscesses that require treatment in a few different ways. Your best bet for preventing an abscess is to keep your guinea pig's area clean and to make sure they don't have anything sharp near them, including a fighting guinea pig. Abscesses in the jaw are common in guinea pigs since their teeth are constantly growing. The teeth structure, which is called an open root, that accommodates this growth also allows bacteria into the jaw. These jaw abscesses require treatment so that the bacteria does not end up in the digestive system. Bites are another common issue for guinea pigs and you should monitor your guinea pig regardless of the species that bit them. Every animal has unique mouth bacteria, so that increases the chances of an absence forming when there's a puncture. Additionally, abscesses can slow that healing process for that puncture if it's not treated properly, so make sure you look at it. Abscesses that require treatment can also form if your guinea pig encounters a foreign object and cannot remove it themselves. Items like splinters, bent bits of cage, or plant thorns puncture the skin. That in turn serves as an entry vector for the bacteria that leads to the abscess. Now, let's talk about what vets do about this. Abscess treatment for guinea pigs should be done by a vet, especially since guinea pigs are sensitive to many treatment options. Fortunately, even general vets have experience with abscesses and should be able to help your guinea pig, even if they've never worked on another guinea pig patient. Surgically draining the abscess is the most common choice for veterinarians since it can be done on most abscesses regardless of location. Some lance and wash out the infected pocket while others create a semi-permanent opening using stitches to facilitate the healing process. Your vet will decide which option is best for your guinea pig. The other option is a surgical removal of the whole abscess. A surgical removal is only a treatment option if your vet is sure they can get the entire abscess out of your guinea pig without it rupturing. This method is actually preferable since there's less risk of spread, but again, it's got some very specific conditions on it. Now, your vet will provide specific instructions on how to handle post-operative care for abscesses. It's vital that you follow these instructions to the letter. It is particularly vital when speaking of antibiotics since guinea pigs cannot handle many of them because they're so small and their digestive tract is so sensitive. Continued flushing with a syringe helps the area remain clean and free of additional infection. Typically, you'll want to place your guinea pig on a towel while doing this since the liquid should run right back out. Your vet can point you towards an appropriate flushing liquid, especially since water won't do the job. Your vet may also provide a topical cream to complement any oral antibiotics. This also helps maintain the skin around the opening, so don't be scrimpy with that. Make sure you follow the instructions for as long as your vet recommends it to facilitate proper healing and minimize your guinea pig's risks. Remember, I'm not a vet, but you should ask one. And that's all for today. Thank you so much for listening. I hope you all have a fantastic day and remember to subscribe below. Bye!